Changes have been made to the tailgating policy at Florida A&M University ahead of this weekend's game against Alabama State. I'm Alberto Camargo, your College Town neighborhood reporter outside of Bragg Memorial Stadium. And if you've ever been to a game here, you know how big the tailgating is. I spoke to fans and FAMU leaders about what led to the change. Here's what you need to know. This road at the back of the main lot at Bragg is no longer open for tailgaters. Due to safety concerns, fans have been redirected to the Patty Foot lot across the street. FAMU says there were 30 tailgating spots available for Saturday, but they sold out in under an hour. The university says 40 more spots, 70 total, will be available on a first-come, first-served basis for all remaining home games. I spent a few minutes on Friday taking the walk myself from Pattyfoot to Bragg. So to get to the stadium from Pattyfoot, you're going to be going down this pathway here to the crosswalk of Wanish Way right in front of the FAMU Student Union. On my way into the traditional tailgate lot, I ran into a couple of fans. One told me the change came as a surprise and that it goes against tradition. Rick Kinsey told me the change was for a good reason, but should have been communicated better. It was a safety issue more than anything else, and I think the lack of communication is what caused the big issue here uh, with tailgating. But tailgating is alive and well. FAMU's Tiffany Dawn Sykes agreed and says the university takes responsibility for the lack of heads up. I do recognize that the communication could have been sooner, it could have been better, and I definitely dropped the ball there. But I do want to make sure that everyone knows this is done in the best interest of everyone's safety. Rick says despite the short notice and extra distance from Patty Foot to Bragg, it won't stop fans from showing out this weekend. There's no other tailgate like it in the world. There's no tailgate better than the FAMU tailgate. And he's the one to ask because Rick follows the team everywhere in this RV full of orange and green. This is FAMU headquarters on the road. So whenever you see this vehicle rolling down the road, you know there's a FAMU football game. The Patty Foot lots were free this weekend, but demand remains high. FAMU was in the process of determining how much these tailgate spots will cost for the rest of the season. The Rattlers take on Alabama State Saturday at 6 p.m., looking to continue their 16-game home winning streak. In College Town, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Alberto Camargo, ABC 27.